There have been another two outbreaks of the deadly Hendra virus in Queensland. Biosecurity officers are working around the clock to quarantine the areas involved. A horse died on a property in North Queensland near Ingham yesterday. Another horse died near Rockhampton on the weekend. Queensland Health says 11 people have been exposed to the virus and could undergo testing. Horse owners are on high alert with news of two cases of Hendra virus in North and Central Queensland. At Narimbara near Rockhampton, biosecurity officers have quarantined a property where a horse died on Saturday night. Never something you want to hear that it's a positive result. The last outbreak in this region was nearby at Kawarrel in 2009 and claimed the life of Rockhampton vet Alistair Rogers. In the latest outbreak at Narimbara, Dr Neil Farmer treated the infected horse but is confident he followed safety procedures. The necessary precautions were taken uh, with, with regards to, to minimising exposure. Uh, so at this stage it's been assessed as a very low risk of infection. Queensland Health says 11 people have had a low level of exposure to the sick horses. If they've had a very high degree of exposure, then we would offer um, post-exposure um, treatment that um, is highly experimental at this stage. In North Queensland, the infected horse was a much-loved family pet and fell ill on Sunday. Um, the horse was showing nervous signs, that was. It was circling and, and looking depressed and it, w it was staggering. Uh, again, the vet um, attempted to treat the horse, but it subsequently died. This is the first time there have been two Hendra virus outbreaks in Queensland at the same time. But authorities say there's no link between the case in North Queensland and the one in Central Queensland. The cause of Hendra virus is still being investigated, but it's known to be carried by flying foxes. In the last 18 months, there have been about 20 outbreaks, mostly in southern Queensland. June, July, August, that, that is the time for some reason there's, there's greater risk. Even the state minister says it's likely there'll be more outbreaks to come. Mindful of the situation, and I stress that uh, during my briefing this morning, the government chief veterinary officer, Dr Rick uh, Simon, stressed that this was the start of the high-risk season and realistically, we should prepare for the potential for more outbreaks. Since 1994, four of the seven people who've contracted the disease have died. Scientists think they'll have a vaccine ready for horses next year. More than 10 other horses, as well as cats and dogs, will be checked at the central Queensland property. Marlena Wop, ABC News, Narimbra.